Yeah, no. Alright, it's our You know, our goal is really our core principles. That's our standard, that's our expectation. Three principles, to be our best or bring our best every day, um, to expect to win and never give up. And, and when you really break down those three core principles, that exemplifies what we consider success, not a win-loss column. Um, I think overall this team, I'm excited about the team because we have guys that are experienced in key positions. We have a lot of guys back. Um, guys had their first off season this past, uh, past spring. And so they're excited, they're more confident. So we just want to make some noise this year. Um, if that's winning a conference title, then that'll be great. Um, but I think if we stick to those core principles, I think we're going to have success. But I'm excited about our secondary. Um, guys like Nick Ojanta, who's a uh, fifth year senior this year. Um, he'll be back. Um, played a significant amount last year. Um, guys like um, Chris Butler, who is a senior this year, playing the corner for us this year, and I expect him to have a really big year. Jet Kuhlman, who's a sophomore, who's playing the other corner, and I really think this year, if, if, if staying healthy and everything works out for those two, um, we probably have, the, we, we feel like we probably have the best two corner tandem uh, in, the, in the conference. We have a newcomer uh, who will be playing, this, his, this will be his first year, um, really playing significant amount, and uh, Jackson Demui will be the other safety. And then uh, Darren Labitt, who played some time last year, will be playing our nickel back. Um, and then up front with the D-line, we have a lot of guys that are back um, that are older. Jalen Shedd, um, Jay, uh, James Christie, uh, Adrian Turner. Um, and then we had a guy who was our Ironman last year, Zach Clark, um, who played a significant amount last year, and Nick Eaton, who played a sig significant amount last year. And then the linebacker position, um, Guys like Josh Smith, um, who play inside linebacker for us. And then we'll have two uh, freshmen playing at the inside linebacker, uh, individual by the name of Nehemiah Colson, who um, I'm just letting everyone know, be on point, watch what happens with this kid. At the outside linebacker position, um, we have a guy by the name of Thomas Gaffney, who moved over from tight end, who'll be playing at the outside linebacker with a number of freshmen um, behind him, who we're excited about. And then on the offensive side, um, we have really a deep quarterback room uh, with starting off with Brody Davis, who played uh, two games last year. Not a lot, but played, a, played two games last year, had an explosive game against center. So we're excited about him. He's right now the starter. Melvendrick Johnson, who is our backup, who's had a great camp. Um, this is probably the best he's played. Um, in his college experience. Um, he's a senior right now. We have a number of quarterbacks after that that we feel really good about if uh, we get no buying at that position. The O-line will be fairly young but key uh, experienced guys in that front. Guys like Ridge Murphy who we spoke about, about uh, the number 11 award and John Juan Joseph. So we're excited about the O-line. They'll be young but athletic. And then the receiver position is probably the strength of the offense with seniors like Moise Tezzo, Nick Hayes. On the outside, you have guys like Xavier Butler and uh, Tamias Mason, who should, we're looking for them to have really big years. Um, and then there's a number of guys that fit that core group of wideouts that, that we're excited about. Like I said, the spring was our first spring off season um, since COVID. So, the boys, they, they, they really saw a lot of uh, gains in the weight room, um, just spending time with him those three or four months or whatever it was in the semester. So um, I'm excited. The boys are excited. Coach Kramer is excited. It's just about, really, it's about when the lights come on and everybody's showing up. I originally came from a quarterback position, so for me, like, it was really, like, embracing the contact. But I would say now it's just, like, it's just slowing your mind down because, you know, a lot of the guys in this conference are really twitchy, and I think, if you're behind, if they get a step on you, they're going. So I think facing guys like Nick Hayes and Luis Tezzo, I, I think those are two of the arguably best receivers in the conference. So it gives me good work. It's really helped me like slow down my eyes in terms of just locking in and just keeping, doing things simple. I think when I first started playing the position, you just, if you overcomplicate the position, you're gonna get toasted. And I think when you stick to simple rules, you just have fun with it and you make plays. I would say like playing quarterback was definitely like a lot of mental stress for me. So I think, but I do appreciate it because I think it gave me more, um, it just gave me a beautiful perspective of the game. You get to run the offense. So big in control wasn't, I love that part of the thing, is just executing was just where I struggled at. So I think 
that the mental part playing safety just it's easy i think for me it's just like being able to put everybody in the right place i enjoy that and i think you know getting to hit somebody is just a little bit more fun than throwing touchdowns for sure i'm just looking forward to seeing like guys you know take that growth on the field because you've seen so many guys who've grown off the field and i think in practice you see them coming into themselves because no guy's ever going to be the same person they walk in to the program as as they are though you see constant growth so i just want to see that show up on the field and you know turn that into big plays and, and w's uh i think it's been it's been a privilege i would definitely say that for sure um like my time i've had a good time at Millsaps. um uh, not it hasn't always been good on the football field uh you know in terms of record wise but I, my love for the game has never changed and i think to be successful at this level you have to it's a love for the game and um I think it shows that I've been doing the right thing and that I've been recognized by my peers. So I just wanna, you know, go out there and have fun and you know just continue to lead throughout the entire season.